All right, this is our next project. It's the verge escapement. And I'm going to call it the M verge because we modified, instead of a crown wheel, it is a paved wheel that does the same thing as the crown wheel, but uh, not as, as petty. Um, it runs for about 45 minutes. You wind up the string from pulls this weight up that gives it the power to, to run. And I'll just turn it loose here. Now these uh, we added on their, their pull knobs for the cabinet, but um, you can put anything out there. This these each weigh about four ounces. That's what slows it down to this speed that it's at right now. Um, so you want to add some weight there to, to get it to run slower. That's about it. We'll get started on it. Okay. Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about the drawings that are available on my website, and you can go there. Uh, the address is in the description below this video. Go there and and get these drawings, and that uh, is the key to really building this. Um, there's a material list, and it defines basically where you could buy this these products um, sometimes I just say like hardware store that could be obviously several places but um, then the assembly instructions and it's kind of a guide to to do things in a certain order that way it's a little more organized this is a piece of plywood that uh, I've laid out all the parts on, and it's a half inch by 24 by 30 inch uh, Baltic birch, and uh, that will build the project. The uh, These are all the uh, pattern drawings that you're going to spray glue on the, on the on the paper and then on the wood, and you'll paste these down in this order. Or if you've got a different size of wood, you might want to do it different, but uh, that's how it's laid out for that sheet. I'm just going to run through these pattern drawings real quick. There's uh, splices that, uh, because some of the parts won't fit on an 8.5 by 11, uh, we had to have splices, but they have been working out real well, and you have to be, you know, careful when you're putting them together to make sure they're on they're on the mark, but it seems to work well. Go through these. That's the big gear, small gear. 
the pinwheel, peg wheel, I call it. Right there is a scroll saw, and in front of it there is some turpentine, and there's a spray adhesive in that can there, and it is to uh, spray on the on the wood, and then we'll spray the back of these paper patterns, and then adhere the patterns to the wood, and that's our mark, that's our dimensions to get things cut out, and that's fairly accurate. I've built several of these type of things and it works real well that way. Uh, this big guy here is a drill press and it'll keep uh, our holes in the shafts, for the shafts, uh, straight and, and perpendicular to the pattern. So that what I wanted to show you with this video clip is the uh, patterns all laid out on the plywood ready uh, to spray adhesive onto the plywood and I uh, we're going to try to take advantage of a straight edge so the plywood has a straight edge we want to use that uh, I take uh, pieces of scotch tape and tape the straight edge directly to the the edge of the plywood and I'll um, show you that right now scotch tape one in the middle one on each end and you can see I can pull that back. And the, scotch, the scotch tape acts as a hinge. And then I can spray the adhesive on, bring it over. How to drill a hole perfectly centered in uh, in this drawing on these drawings when they're they have all the holes have an X uh, at the center. So what you need to do first is take a pin and any kind of pin will do. Put it right at that crossing and then drive it in a little bit, work it a little bit. And now you got a hole there, but you can use two different kinds of bits. This is a brad point bit, and it'll fall in that hole. And when you start to drill, it's go right straight through. And this other bit is a Forstner bit, and it works. It'll work the same way. And uh, that's how you can get it right on, right on. glued that sandpaper onto the fingernail file and now all we need to do is put it a glue a blade on there and so we'll just lay the blade like that on there and start putting glue on we want to I basically bury the the blade in glue and that seems to Hold fine. 
you can't use it for quite a while because it takes a little bit to dry, but when it does, it's it's there to stay. I'm going to flip it once. Okay. We'll let that dry for probably, I would say overnight would be best to. Okay, a quick demonstration on uh, using our jig. This is uh, what we cut out, half inch. It's um, got a hole drilled here through it. And I've stuck this uh, bit in there for temporary pin to pin it. So it doesn't turn while we're cutting it. Uh, we're going to cut off the top. We're going to turn it, repin it, and uh, cut off the other side on the top, and then cut the bottom. So here we go. The uh, first time I put this together, um, the shaft wasn't perpendicular and it had a little bit of wobble to it. And that changes the, inter the, the contact points of the pins to the, the little paddle and it caused it to uh, swing farther up on top and uh, then it would swing less and it just needed to be changed so I the way I got it to work here is is to uh, put the shaft through the the frame then I use clamps to clamp the hub and everything together there the glue the the shaft is glued in this case uh, to the hub and to the, the pinwheel Okay, this is showing the the clamped up version, uh, so it's here ready to dry and um, 